Hello and welcome to another macro video. I'm looking today at updating your macros and the point is that uh, the macros are updated fairly regularly. Uh, maybe problems with a macro or I might add extra features to a macro and so I try to keep a record of the updating that's done and that list is on my website which you can download and that's at documents macro list. So here's the uh, document and uh, all the macros are here, all 800 and something, either sorted in date order or down below they're sorted in order of the name, alphabetic name of the macro. So you can look up what the latest version is of your given macro. Okay, so um, the I try to remember to update that list of course, and uh, doesn't always happen. Um, so if you want to update uh, a macro that's fine. Uh, the problem is that if you delete a macro, if you delete the old version, then you will lose the keystroke that was assigned to it. So the solution for that is a macro called macro fetch keystroke read and though there's um, the original sort of macro fetch uh, macro is just goes and gets um, the macro so if you want to find the get a copy of the multi switch macro then click in the word multi switch or whatever the macro is and then you run the multi fetch uh, macro fetch sorry and it will uh, load up on my word macro tools website that's the multi switch so you can select the whole thing copy it and then paste it in to your Visual Basic, um, which is there. Okay, um, but the point with macro fetch read is that you don't want to lose the keystroke. So uh, with this one, you click in the macro name and you run the macro fetch uh, keystroke read, and the first thing it does is to uh, well, you couldn't. You saw what it did, and then it went away again. So it gets the macro. That's fine. You can copy and paste that as before. Um, but what it's also done is put the keystroke that is associated with that macro ready to use there. Um, so then you go into Visual Basic. Uh, you delete the old one, the old version, or maybe you might want to rename the old one just in case you want to keep it and just check it against the new one. Um, but then you can paste in the new version of multi-switch and then you run the same macro again and it's now restored the keystroke so the alt Q there has been added to the keystroke macro and you're ready to go so that's it that's all there is so thanks for watching bye for now